Let's compare a Philippine Reserve Division, a Japanese Division, and a US Army Division as organized and equipped in the 1941-42 Philippine Campaign. An important reminder to take this with a grain of salt, as often the situation on the ground is not the same as it is on paper, especially for this campaign. <clears throat> anyway, let's start with the Japanese 48th and 16th Divisions. Under the mobilization plan, 48th Division had an engineer regiment, a medical regiment, a transport regiment, a signal unit company sized, plus other support units. It had an infantry group with three infantry regiments. This would have a signal company as well as artillery composed of a mountain artillery company and an anti-tank company. It had three battalions made up of four rifle companies and a machine gun company, plus a battalion gun platoon. The division would also have a reconnaissance regiment made up of two motorized rifle squadrons, a mounted rifle squadron, a tinket squadron, and a motor transport squadron. Finally, divisional support came in the form of a B-type mountain artillery regiment which had three battalions each with an HQ, three mountain batteries, and a service battery, in addition to the regimental service battery. This would have totaled around 24,000 men. However, there were many changes made. 48th Division, as well as 5th and Guards Divisions for Malaya, were motorized, which required less manpower. The transport regiment was actually battalion-sized, and, the biggest one of all, a rifle company was taken out from each infantry battalion. This reduced the infantry regiment's size greatly from 4,487 to 2,580. The artillery regiment was cut in half from 3,497 to 1,486. This would be three 462 man battalions, one having 12 75mm mountain guns, and the other two having eight of those guns and four 105mm howitzers each. Using Leila Ness's numbers, that puts 48th Division at 12,423, though Donald Young numbers it at 15,000 strong, and reports of General MacArthur puts them at 15,663. The 16th Division also experienced similar reductions, although it was not motorized. Some differences though, its infantry regiments had no artillery battalion HQ, so support was directly subordinate to the infantry commander. Regimental and battalion HQs were cut in half, each rifle company had 180 men instead of 190, each machine gun company 142 men instead of 223, the mounted squadron was removed from the reconnaissance regiment, and the heavy howitzer battalion was removed from the division's A2 type field artillery regiment. Ness numbers the division at 14,401 men, reports numbers it at 14,674. Now we'll move on to a Philippine Army Reserve Division, of which there were 10 and made up a great majority of the USA FFE's forces. It had an engineer battalion, a medical battalion, a quartermaster battalion, a signal company, and other service units. It had three infantry regiments made up of a headquarters battalion and three infantry battalions, which are made up of three rifle companies and one machine gun company each. For division support, there was a field artillery regiment composed of three battalions of two firing batteries each. These would be equipped with either 12 2.95 inch pack howitzers or replaced with 75mm field artillery guns, though in practice this varied from as much as 16 75mm and 8 howitzers to as little as 4 howitzers or zero artillery support at all in divisions stationed in Visayas and Mindanao, in which case they were organized as infantry. Also, due to lack of 37mm guns, the anti-tank battalion in each division was disbanded and their personnel absorbed in other units. Their total strength thus was 8,401 in 1941, although the divisions were still mobilizing when war broke out. There were also some 40 U.S. Army officers and 20 U.S. or scout NCOs assigned as instructors and advisors. As for the Americans, they had one division in this campaign, the Philippine Division. A bit of a special unit, but the closest comparison we have is the Triangular Infantry Division from the June 1941 U.S. Army Field Manual 101-10. This would have an engineer battalion, though regiment-sized, medical and quartermaster battalions, though nominally regiments, a military police company and signal company, also nominally called a regiment, plus other supporting units. It had three infantry regiments with a headquarters company and band, an anti-tank company, and a service company. It would have three battalions made up of three rifle companies and a heavy weapons company. 
Supposedly, for divisional support, there would be a field artillery regiment composed of three battalions of three batteries of 105mm howitzers and a battalion of mountain artillery equipped with 155mm howitzers and anti-tank guns. But for Philippine Division's case, there were the nominal 23rd and 24th FA regiments. The 23rd was battalion size equipped with 2.95 inch pack mountain guns, and the 24th had two battalions equipped with 75mm guns. A recon troop in the Triangular Division was also not in Philippine Division. Thus, the difference between the Triangular Division's strength of 15,245 men and the Philippine Division's strength of 10,233 men on 30 November 1941. About sizes. Although these divisions have the same basic setup of three infantry regiments of three battalions of four companies, there is a significant difference between the sizes of these units. As we see, a Philippine Army Reserve Division has an authorized strength of 8,401, the US Philippine Division had a strength of 10,223, and the Japanese 48th Division had a strength of 12,423 or 15,663. For the infantry regiments, the size of a Philippine Army Regiment was around 14,000 to 15,000. US Army or Philippine Scout Regiments, meanwhile, had a strength of around 21,000 to 22,000 men. And the Japanese regiments had an authorized strength of either 2,580 if motorized or 2,881 if not. As for infantry battalions, you have around 500 in a Philippine Army Battalion, around 600 for a US Army Battalion, and around 800 for a Japanese Army Battalion. My numbers are less precise here, but the company sizes are more exact. A Philippine Army Rifle Company had 119 men, a US or Scout Rifle Company had 139, and a Japanese company had 190 men, or 180 in the case of 16th Division. A Philippine Army Machine Gun Company had 114 men, a US Army Heavy Weapons Company had 151, and a Japanese had 223, which is almost twice as large as a Philippine Army Machine Gun Company. Of course, manpower is half the equation, so let's move on to equipment. This should be taken with the biggest pile of salt since the USAFI was infamously short of equipment in this campaign, as well as the substantial changes to the Japanese divisions mentioned. In terms of rifles, a Philippine Army Division would have 5,728, a Japanese Type B Standard Division would have around 9,000, and an American Triangular Division 6,942. For pistols, the Filipino Division would have 518, unfortunately no data for the Japanese, and 7,199 for the American. For automatic rifles, the Filipino Division would have 132, again no data for the Japanese, and 375 plus 35 submachine guns for the Americans. For 30 cal or light machine guns, the Filipino Division would have 76, the Japanese would have 382 or 400 depending on the source, and the American would have 179. For 50 cal or medium or heavy machine guns, the Filipino division would have just 10, while the Japanese would have 112 and the Americans would have 113. For mortars, the Filipino division would have 18 3-inch mortars and 12 81mm mortars. Unfortunately, no data for the Japanese, although they have 340 grenade launchers, and the Americans would have 81 60mm mortars and 36 81mm mortars. For artillery, meanwhile, the Filipino division would have either 12 2.95-inch howitzers or 75mm field guns. The Japanese would have 18 or 12 70mm howitzers and 48 75mm mountain guns, though in 48th division's case it would be 40 75mm and 8 105mm howitzers. The Americans would get 8 75mm guns, 36 105 howitzers, though they were none in the Philippines, and 12 155mm howitzers. Finally, for transportation, I have no data for the Filipino Division, but the Motorized 48th Division had 88 horses, 69 cars, 659 trucks, and 16 tankettes, though 16th Division had 2,504 horses and 399 motor vehicles. As for the American Division, I have no data for horses, but it had a whopping 1,838 vehicles of different types, on paper. Sorely lacking though, the Filipino and American forces would requisition a lot of civilian vehicles. So, that was a comparison of division strengths involved in the 1941-42 Philippine campaign. Again, deficits of training and equipment very much affected the actual situation in the campaign, which I will be covering in detail in a series, so be sure to stay tuned. I hope you found this video informative, thank you for watching, and happy araw ng kagitingan!